I think that Donald Trump didn't serve in the military, but he didn't lie about it, Dana. I've known Donald Trump for a long time. You he don't really think he, honors our so veterans. He, he had honors phones me for my service. Donald Trump didn't lie about serving in the military. He didn't say that he went to Vietnam when he didn't. This is the problem. Dana, do, do you think that it's a problem that he said, I went to war, but he didn't actually? That seems to be a problem to me. Well, they've, they've corrected that. Let's move on to... They've corrected it by admitting that Let's he lied. move on to another... Uh, Wow, she ran away quicker than Destiny ran away from Robert Newar in their latest debate. <laughs> Shut up! Dana Bash is one of the most glowing state operatives in the media. Being married to one of the 51 intelligence experts, now she's doing her part to keep whoever's controlling the Biden-Harris regime in power. I'll say one quick thing before we watch this clip. It's very telling that J.D. Vance is willing to go on this Democrat Party propaganda outlet with a plainly partisan hack for what will predictably be a very hostile interview. And of course, neither her or Walls have done any interviews at this point. What makes me sick to my stomach is the fact that the media would be the ones to hold them to account for that, which they probably won't. No way. And speaking of digestive issues, this is caused by a potential toxin that's in all of our quote, healthy foods that so-called scientists have been telling us to eat with our fraudulent food pyramid for decades. This potential toxin causes digestive issues. And according to Dr. Stephen Gundry, who is a world-renowned cardiologist, this is affecting millions of people nationwide. Warning signs include weight gain, fatigue, digestive discomfort, and stiff joints and even skin problems. Well, Dr. Gundry explains that these side effects are often mistaken for normal signs of aging because digestive issues develop usually over a matter of years and sometimes even decades. Quote, I can assure you that this damage is likely caused by healthy foods and it's far from normal. The good news is you and I can easily fix these problems from our own home. You just need to know which foods are healthy and which foods contain these hidden potential toxins. After years of research, Dr. Gundry has decided to release this informative video to the public for free and uninterrupted showcasing exactly which foods you need to avoid so you can now go and find that information for yourself at gutcleanseprotocol.com forward slash drone that's gutcleanseprotocol.com forward slash drone and on the question of when he left the the national guard he filed his election paperwork february 10th 2005 that was a month before the national guard even announced that it was possible that they would deploy to iraq and it ended up being two months he retired two months before they actually got the paperwork but on cnn last night dana uh one of the people who was actually in charge of him said they knew they were going to deploy to iraq in february of 2004 so or excuse me, fall of 2004 so he knew he was going to iraq he decided to quit to retire, whatever word you want to use. Retire. Ah, oh boy, here we go. She's already proving that she's a total hack. Notice how fixated she is on the word retire. No doubt she got a list of talking points that she's supposed to stick to straight from the Harris campaign. And yes, we already do have solid evidence that this is likely the case. She was never actually border czar. Border czar, uh, which was not something that was formally conveyed upon her. She's been labeled incorrectly by some members of the right as the border czar. Republicans named her the border czar. Republicans have always exaggerated what her job was at the border. Now you see that evil will always triumph because good is dumb. And I just love the CNN lower thirds there. Vance defends attacks on Walls' military record. Nobody's attacking his military record. Walls himself damaged his own record by claiming that he went to war when he didn't. Whatever word you want to use. Retire. Because whatever, because he wanted to run for Congress. He lied about that. He said that when he decided to retire, he did not know that he was going to Iraq. That is another untruth, as even his senior military officer said. So again, I'm not criticizing the service. I'm criticizing the dishonesty. Dishonesty spoken in favor and for the purpose of political benefit. And I think that the most important thing here, Dana, is it goes to Kamala Harris's judgment. Tim Waltz is ultimately going to be the vice president. Kamala Harris is in great health. I'm sure she's going to be president if she wins for four or maybe even eight years. Why did Kamala Harris choose a person? person who has lied about their military service, I think that is a serious lapse in judgment. And I don't want to hear from a campaign spokesperson of Kamala Harris. I want to hear Kamala Harris herself address what I just said. You know, I, I've seen a lot of statements from veterans, including those you serve with, saying it's just untoward to be criticizing somebody who served for 24 years. We have another it's untoward to claim that you went to war when you never did. 
It's literally one of the worst things you can possibly do as somebody serving in the military. Again, Bass is just showing that she's an operative for the DNC and that her only goal here is to attack JD Vance and circle the wagons around walls. Which is just really weird, right? Because I thought Dana Bash was so concerned with the truth and Trump's supposed lies. Yet, when it comes to Democrat lies, suddenly she wants to spin and defend that politician instead of calling them out and finding the truth. Mm first time. Dana, I'm not interested in the ad hominem. I've heard from a lot of veterans groups who criticize Tim Waltz. The question is, he said he served in war and he didn't. That is a dishonesty. I, I really, I couldn't care less what one or the other person says about it. I care about what the truth is. The truth is that Tim Waltz didn't tell the truth. And importantly, Dana, this is about Kamala Harris's judgment. And I think that when you ask, why has Kamala Harris allowed the border to be wide open? Why has Kamala Harris supported policies that have promoted the increase in inflation? I think it goes to the heart of her judgment. And I think that that's what we should be talking about. One last question. Donald Trump didn't serve in the military. Uh, he received a medical draft deferment for bone spurs to avoid serving in the Vietnam War, reportedly as a favor to his father. Do you find that shameful, too? I think that Donald Trump didn't serve in the military, but he didn't lie about it, Dana. I've known Donald Trump for a long time. You he don't really think he, honors our so veterans. He, he honors me spurs? for my service. Donald Trump didn't lie about serving in the military. He didn't say that he went to Vietnam when he didn't. This is the problem. I, I don't criticize anybody. Whether they served our country or not, I think it's honorable to serve, but obviously a lot of people have reasons for not serving. I criticize somebody for embellishing their record, for lying, saying, I went to war. Dana, do, do you think that it's a problem that he said, I went to war, but he didn't actually? That seems to be a problem to me. Well, they've they've corrected that. Oh, right, 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 right. <laughs> Let's move on to- They've corrected it by admitting that Let's he lied. move on to another important issue. Run away! Run away! Run away! Oh, right, right. He corrected it. That is just such an obvious spin job. Why is she now suddenly so unconcerned with the fact that Walls was lying and not just lying, but lying about being in war, which like I said earlier, is one of the worst things you can do as someone in the military, or for that matter, as a civilian. You can serve for 24 years honorably and then completely dishonor all of that service by claiming that you were in a war that you weren't. Honestly, this would be the end for any Republican politician who got caught lying about being in a war. But we all know that those standards do not apply to Democrats, especially when the media is trying to save democracy by keeping them in power. Vance really should have pressed her more on that, but I thought it was brilliant that he turned it around on Dana every time she tried to deflect by claiming that Trump didn't even go to war because he claimed he had bone spurs, which you can judge him however you want for that. But like Vance said, at least he didn't lie about being in war. I really shouldn't be surprised by all this because as we know, the Democrats wouldn't have any standards if it weren't for double standards. In most cases, I really don't understand why Republicans agree to do interviews for what is essentially just an extension of the Harris campaign. But in this case, J.D. Vance handled it pretty masterfully, turning around her attempts to deflect on her every single time. That's exactly what we need from Republicans if they're gonna go do these interviews. If she ever interviews Harris or Walls, it'll be to promote and to protect them by not asking anything too probing that might cause some damaging viral clips. I know that most of you out there get it, but a lot of people in this country still need to open their eyes to just how corrupt and dangerous our former fourth estate has become. Help me help them by sharing this clip, hitting that like button, and leaving your thoughts in the comments below. I post on a regular basis, so subscribe and keep checking back for more. Thanks a lot.